Good evening and welcome to the 18 WJTS newscast for Tuesday, October 15th. Thank you for choosing us for your local news coverage this evening. I'm Jared Atkins here at the news desk. In a recently added post to the Jasper Police Department's Facebook page, officials have alerted the public to an increase in reports of stolen political signs from private residential properties. As the election season unfolds, the department is reminding residents that tampering with or removing political signs is a crime. Under Indiana state law, theft of a political sign may be charged as a misdemeanor or a felony depending upon the value of the property and the circumstances of the aforementioned crime. Defacing, vandalizing, or stealing these signs violates a property owner's right to freely express their political preferences. This freedom to display political signs is protected under your First Amendment rights as long as the signs are placed on private property with permission. The Jasper Police Department is urging residents to respect their neighbor's political choices and to report any suspicious activity. Citizens are encouraged to stay vigilant and contact the department if they notice theft or vandalism in their areas. As winter approaches, the Orange County Humane Society is reaching out to the community for support in preparing for the colder months. The organization is currently collecting straw and dog houses, both new and used, to provide warmth and shelter for area dogs in need. With the increasing number of dogs at the shelter, particularly those in overflow situations, the Orange County Humane Society is looking to replace older dog houses currently in use outside their facilities. The organization recognizes the importance of keeping these animals safe and comfortable during the harsh winter. Community members are encouraged to assist by keeping an eye out for dog houses and straw at yard sales or available on online marketplaces. Any leads or donations would be greatly appreciated. For more information, you can visit the Orange County Humane Society Facebook page or give them a phone call at 812-723-4142. The Rotary Club of Dubois County is now accepting registrations for its 20th annual Economic Future Cast Luncheon happening on Thursday, November 14th at the Tim Clark Cultural Center in Jasper. From 11.30 to 1 p.m., attendees will enjoy lunch in the atrium while hearing from economic experts from Indiana University's Kelly School of Business. This year's panel features distinguished experts including Dr. Chad Hamm, Dr. Andrew Butters, and Dr. Russell Rhodes. Together, they will provide insights into critical economic factors such as inflation, GDP growth, and employment trends, helping attendees prepare for the economic outlook in 2025 and beyond. Proceeds from this event will support the Rotary Club of Dubois County's Community Grants Program. Tickets are priced at $35 and pre-registration is required by Friday, November 7th. Sponsorships are also available. For more information, you can contact Jim McFall at 812-630-630. 5581. National Prescription Drug Take Back Day is coming up on Saturday, October 26, and this is a great opportunity for Dubois County residents to safely dispose of expired, unused, or unwanted medication at no cost to you. Please note that no sharps or liquids will be accepted, and vape pens and e cig devices are allowed. However, batteries must be removed prior to disposal. This event is open to private citizens only, not businesses or health facilities. Drop-off locations include the Ireland Fire Station from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. and the Jasper State Police Post, District 34, from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. There is also a 24-7 disposal site at the Jasper Police Station, which is located at 309 East 6th Street for year-round convenience. This is a great opportunity to protect your family and community by getting rid of unwanted pharmaceuticals. This event is made possible through the collaboration of local law enforcement, advocacy groups, and community-based organizations. The Beta Gamma Chapter of Alpha Delta Kappa, an international honorary sorority for women educators, is now accepting applications for its local and state scholarships. Both male and female students are eligible to apply. Applicants must be enrolled in an Indiana college or university and have applied for student teaching. Eligible applicants should be completing their student teaching during the 25-26 academic year. The application deadline is January 24, 2025, and completed applications must be postmarked by that date. For more details or to request an application, you can contact Brooke Elrod at 812-639-2404. Alpha Delta Kappa was established in 1947 to support the professional development of exceptional women educators, advancing inclusion, 
educational excellence, altruism, and global understanding. The town of Shoals will hold its community fall cleanup from October 24th to 26th with a designated dumpster available at Town Hall for residents to dispose of any unwanted items cluttering their homes, garages, or yards. Participants are asked to place all items directly in the dumpster and avoid leaving it on the ground. If the dumpster reaches capacity, residents should not leave items outside. Please note that certain items are prohibited from disposal. This includes tires, construction waste, paint, batteries, and other hazardous materials. Bethlehem Lodge 574, the Masonic Lodge in Birdseye, is hosting its annual Big Country Breakfast this weekend, Friday, October 18th to Sunday, October 20th. Breakfast will be served from 6 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. each day. This popular event features a variety of hearty breakfast options along with homemade baked goods available as part of a special bake sale. As the Lodge's major fundraiser for the year, proceeds will support the maintenance of the Lodge, the community funeral dinners that is put on by the Lodge for both Masons and non-Masons in the community, and various other initiatives. The Big Country Breakfast is free to attend, though free will donations are appreciated. Everyone is invited to join them, regardless of their Masonic background. In addition to the Big Country Breakfast, the Lodge will host a trunk or treat event on Halloween night, Thursday, October 31st. This family-friendly event will take place in conjunction with the Town of Birdseye Trick or Treat Times, providing a safe and enjoyable atmosphere for children. For parents on the go on Trick or Treat Night, hot dogs, chips, and drinks will be available for purchase for a small fee at the Lodge, along with public restrooms for convenience purposes. As October brings cooler weather to southern Indiana, homeowners are urged to prepare their heating systems for winter. Failing to conduct maintenance checks on heating sources, whether gas, electric, propane, or wood-burning stoves, can lead to serious safety risks, including carbon monoxide poisoning and increased fire hazards. Heating equipment is responsible for over 49,000 fires annually in the United States, according to the U.S. Fire Administration. Homeowners can save up to 30% on their heating costs by ensuring their systems are efficient and well-maintained. It's essential to schedule a professional inspection, test carbon monoxide detectors, and clean wood-burning appliances. By taking these steps, homeowners can ensure the safety, their safety excuse me, of their systems and how they work efficiently. Junior Achievement of Southwestern Indiana in partnership with Denton's Bingham and Greenbond is seeking laureate nominations for the 2025 Junior Achievement Dubois County Business Hall of Fame. Nominees should be individuals who have made significant contributions to free enterprise while demonstrating outstanding leadership serving as an inspiring role model for young people. Laureate nominees can either be active or retired, historical and or deceased. Junior Achievement Dubois County Business Hall of Fame will celebrate the induction of the laureates during a breakfast and ceremony in the spring of next year at the Honeyberg Events Center. Anyone wishing to nominate a laureate should fill out a nomination form and return it to Carol Meyer, the selection committee chair. The link to our form, the link to the form, excuse me, can be found on our website. Nominations will be accepted through Friday, October 25th. The Heart of Jasper invites you to the downtown square for the Shop and Sip event being held tomorrow, Wednesday, October 16th. The downtown Jasper merchants are open until 7 p.m. Experience a fun night of shopping around the downtown courthouse square while enjoying a night of appetizers. Live music will be performed by Drew Wahlberg in the Astra corner of the square, and downtown Jasper social district beverages can be purchased at Oink, Pub and Grub, Odd Fellows, and other participating social district establishments. The full list can be found on the Heart of Jasper's website. The Shop and Sip is the third Wednesday of the month from 5 to 7 p.m. The next two Shop and Sips after tomorrow's event are Wednesday, November 20th and Wednesday, December 18th. And in other local news, the City of Jasper will be holding a Touch a Truck event on Saturday, November 2nd at the Schrader Complex. This free family-friendly event will let attendees have fun exploring vehicles of all types and sizes that is utilized by the City of Jasper. The Touch a Truck is set to take place from 9.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. And from 9.30 a.m. to 10 a.m., there will be a designated quiet time where sirens and horns on the vehicles will not be used. 
And that wraps up your local news here on 18 WJTS. Coming up next is our weekly visit to the Dubois County Humane Society, where Kelly Eckerly and myself talk about Jasmine the Cat and how to keep pets and strays safe during the harsh winter months. We'll be right back. <laughs> 